Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials to get to that nugget, that one thing that you've been struggling with. You're welcome. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes, sir! Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. If you have copy that already exists in another program such as Microsoft Word, did you know that you could import that text into InDesign? And not only that, but maintain the styles that you've already set. Here's how you do it. In InDesign, after you create a brand new document, you want to create a text frame to import your copy. So here, I'm taking my type tool and creating an empty text frame for that. Next, I'm going to come to File, Place, or Control or Command D. So here I'll select this Word document called Graphic File Formats from a blog post that I wrote for graphicsgirl.com that reviews all the different types of graphic file formats. Check it out if you get a chance. So when I select that, it flows the copy into my InDesign document you'll see that it actually maintains some of these styles that were already set, meaning that the headlines look different than the body copy. But what if you wanted to swap out these styles with styles that you prefer in your InDesign file? I'm going to pull this over off my document here just so we can compare later. So let's create another text box where we can bring in the same copy, but then swap out the pre-existing styles in the Word file with ones that we created in InDesign. So I'm going to give myself my text frame once again. I'm going to get the copy from File Place. And there's my file again. But this time, before I hit Open or double-click it, I'm going to choose this the Options menu. When I choose that, I want to select Show Import Options. Showing Import Options allows you to avoid things like footnotes and endnotes and also to swap out the styles. So with that, I'm going to click Open. When I've checked Import Options, I'm going to get the Microsoft Word Import Options dialog box. And here's where you could avoid endnotes, footnotes if you had them in your existing Word doc. Or down here, you can customize your style import. When you select that radio button at the bottom of the dialog box, you have the option now to click on Style Mapping. This button will be grayed out if you don't first select Customize Style Import. So now that it is clickable, you're going to click on Style Mapping. Then the style mapping dialog box appears and you have the option now to swap out existing Microsoft Word style with InDesign styles that you've created in your file. I'm going to select normal and swap it out for this style that I've created called body. Next, I'll swap out headline 2 with the style that I've created in InDesign called headline. Clicking OK and OK you'll see now my copy has flowed in. Just take a look. You'll see now that my copy's flowed in and swapped out for my styles. We'll compare these two styles in a minute so you can see that it actually did swap it out here. Here's the original when I brought it in as is. I'm going to resize my text boxes here. I'm going to zoom in with Commander Control Plus and pan over. All right, let's take a look side by side here that the font substituted for a different font. My headline, it saw that there was a style in Word, 
but it swapped it out with my paragraph style that I made in InDesign. Same thing for the body copy. Had been sans serif, now serif. So I'm going to delete this first one. Do Control or Command Zero to bring back my fit to page view. Extend over my text box and I'll show you. How did I create these styles? They already existed in this file under Paragraph Styles. I made these styles, which I can show you in another video, but to show this Paragraph Styles panel, once again, you come to Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles. So that's how you import copy from Microsoft Word into Adobe InDesign and maintain your styles while doing it. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.